We've got a ton of moves to capture before our special guest arrives, so let's get through this as quickly as possible. We need footage of a top rope move. Come on, let's see what you got. What time does the MyRise crew get here? They're such a hassle to deal with. Oh, did I say that out loud? My bad. Oh, it's a pleasure working with you, Cole. By the way, tell Buzz I said hi. Hey, Locke, I know you were a big time WWE superstar, but act like you want to be here. Pretend Cole is Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that's it. Really let him have it. Friendly reminder to all town and crew, please only use three squares of toilet paper. We have sensitive plumbing here. Let's see a submission hold. Don't tap him out though, just need a shot of the actual hold. Give me a pin attempt, can be any kind. Just make sure the match doesn't end. We need to get more footage. This is the one for 2K20. Yikes. One. All right, taunt your opponent. <laughs> now taunt the imaginary crowd. Give me an Irish whip in any direction. I don't care. All right, pick up a weapon and use it. Sorry, Cole. Let me see your best heavy combo. Okay, might as well get some more combo footage. Give me a look. You know what? Just do whatever you want. Why am I even here? See why WWE fired you. You can't take a simple direction. Well, we're here. Might as well get footage of a grab attack. Go nuts.
I know it's weird with no audience, but I don't know. Pretend this is WrestleMania at the Performance Center. Let's keep things simpler. Just damage the heck out of Cole. Again, sorry Cole. Come on, mix it up a bit. You've already got enough footage of that move. Let's focus on getting some defensive footage. How about a dodge? Jason in gameplay keeps bugging me to get more reversal animations. So execute a reversal so Jason will leave me alone. I mean, not really. No one can look good in a mocap suit, but your moves look great. Hit a signature move while you're at it. Hey Cole, remind me when you're done to talk to you about this guy Baron Blade who keeps texting me for mocap work. Says he's your friend. Seems like a real weirdo. I gotta get booked on NBA. Dribble with your left hand, dribble with your right hand. Now shoot! So much easier than this. Imagine you're in a WWE ring in front of the entire WWE universe on Raw. Sorry, Locke. Too soon? Give me a finisher. Hurry it up. It's almost lunch. Pick up the pace. If we go into OT, I'm in hot water. Let's wrap this up soon. I just got word that our VIP guest has arrived. One, two. This is going to be great in the next game. I mean, we won't use a large portion of it, but keep it up.
Wait, what in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock, doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> It wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show. You know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Mocap ready, position, action on your briefcase victory scene. Great, excellent. Now up to the corner, please. You think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me! Cut! Cut! That's enough! Where's security? Come on! Let's do this! Let's go! I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go! This was assault, and it's all on camera! Get off of me! You haven't seen the last of me! Actually, I think we have! You're fired! Again! Bye! Sorry, Sammy. Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No, no break. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, okay? Should we wake him up? Yeah, I'll think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the? Morning, sunshine. Oh, what's going on here? Since you never return any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Hmm, I'll allow it. Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months and knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. We agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. <sighs> but if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now is how you respond. 
And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. You're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Kat? I told you I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too for me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right, we're at an airport. Where to first? The loo. This coffee ran straight through me. On my flight over here, I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Well, I wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting, and you were impressive as hell. However, there was one thing you always churned down. The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. No, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. God rest her soul. <sighs> Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. And how is that working out for you? There's a lesson to be learnt from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at, but I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes, you have to learn how to play within the system. And trust the process, right? Not what I was going to say, but sure. What I learned is, you can wear the wig for a bit, and then you can always take it off. But at least, it gave it a fair shot. So what you say, we head over to the UK, and you finally compete in a British rules match. Prove to me, you're ready to wear a wig. Okay, fine, I'll give it a shot. At least I won't have to deal with any more awkward situations at the pub. Great. And by the way, Amelia's younger sister is the bartender now. I think you love her. Doesn't look a day over 72. Let's go get our flights before you say anything else that changes my mind.
How you feeling? Do you knock off that pesky jet lag? Yeah, and I know British rules matches can be grueling, but I'm ready to give one a shot. I hope you're ready to give more than one shot. What do you mean? This is actually a British rules tournament, as in, you'll be competing in multiple British rules matches. I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out you had to do more than one, but here's the thing. If you don't get your act together, you'll lose in the first round, and you won't have to worry about any subsequent matches, will you? I'm already regretting this. Oi! Suck it up! You're gonna be fine. And besides, the crowd is already here. Sato's now backing out now. Okay, Tavish isn't around. What'd you think of what he did to get you over here? Not surprised at all. Tavish means well, but he'll lie his butt off if he thinks a situation calls for it. Does the fact that this is a tournament change your approach? Now that I'm here, I'm not going to take the easy way out. If I have to compete in three of these British rules matches to win the tournament, then that's what I'm going to do. It could really help kickstart my comeback. This is awkward, but I wanted to seem cool. I honestly have no idea what a British rules style match is. It's been around forever here in the UK. The matches are two out of three falls and there's no leaving the ring or top rope moves allowed. Got all that? Uh, yeah. D uh, definitely. Bottom line, it's going to be very tough to win this tournament, especially since it's all taking place in one night. Nonetheless, I'm just happy to be out of the WWE bubble, and no matter how it goes, I look forward to getting out there and being myself.